So we'll now look at some of these icons that are left on this bank module. This first one being the transfer icon. If we're transferring funds from one account to another on the bank accounts module, the easiest way to do that is by clicking transfer. So we might be moving money from our current account to our Santander savings account. So to record that on Sage, we would click transfer. It says from, it's got 1200 current account already in that box to Santander savings account 1241 1241 click OK the date of the transfer the reference if any say we have a standing order set up so SO description we could put regular savings in there 200 pounds say once we click save you'll notice that 200 pounds from here will go into our Santander savings so it's actually at 200 at the moment let's click save yes it's now at 400 let's do another one so once again let's say we're paying money from our current account to our credit card so you'd click transfer 1200 current account to 1240 credit card put the date in the reference if any description you could put in credit card payment put the amount in let's do 500 and you'll notice that 500 from this balance will transfer to the company credit card click save yes there we go there are a number of reports you can bring up for the bank. Once again, hundreds of reports. Just go through, see what reports you think will be useful to you. Um, you can get day books, so information about all bank payments or bank receipts in a certain period. Um, any credit card payments and receipts in a certain period. Reconciled transactions, unreconciled transactions. Just go through, see what will be useful. I'm sure there'll be something useful for you in there that you can use to make life a bit quicker and easier for you. So just go through them. Um, once again, you don't have to print them off, just preview them. The last icon I want to go through on this screen is this recurring icon. Now the reason we would use this recurring icon is to set up recurring payments and Sage so we don't have to keep entering them in each week or month so we may have car insurance that goes out every month is the same every month if we put it into this recurring menu so let's click recurring and this menu appears you'll see there's some already set up here you can set up a recurring and it will automatically be posted for you as long as you tell it to so let's click add it says transaction type so let's do a bank payment okay transaction reference let's do direct debit and transaction details let's put van insurance it then asks the post in frequency so we want it say every one month so put one in there in the drop down box put month we can put it daily weekly or monthly the start date, so let's say the end of this month, 26th or 27th of the 6th, 2013. Total postings, so normally there's 11 or 12 in the year, let's put 11 down. The net amount you want to go out each month, could be £50 a month. The VAT code, insurance is not VAT applicable so let's put T9 for zero so the VAT is zero and then at the top here you want to do from what bank account so say it comes out the current account and we want it posted to van insurance which would be a 7000 code so vehicle insurance 7303 click OK so that's all set up now let's click OK and you'll see it's here 
bank payment, direct debit, van insurance, £50 every month. Going out on the 26th, 7th or the 6th. No postings made so far, 11 remaining. Remaining value, 550, which is 11 times the 50. And the amount we've posted so far is zero. So we would add all our recurring payments in there. Once we're ready to post them, so say once a month, we would click process. Put in the date, so say it's the 1st of the 3rd, 2013. It would then bring up all transactions that are due to go out. Now a lot of these are rolled, let's see, next posting, 2006. So let's change this, let's do the 1st of October. 2006. Click yes. So we have these recurring payments set up. If we click post, it will then post all these automatically for us so we don't have to put these transactions in. So post, yes. And that's done. So let's do another one. Add. You see there's a number of different transaction types we can use. The one you're going to use most is bank payments, bank receipts, or bank transfers. So let's do bank transfer from 1200 current account to our Santander savings account. Okay, so we're transferring every one month, 200 pounds. Start date, say today, is when we're starting. If we leave the total required postings as zero, it will put the finished date as perpetual. So it's just ongoing until we delete this recurring entry. Okay, so let's leave it at zero. So we'll keep posting £200 a month until we tell it to stop. The amount, 200 Click OK. And there it is. Um, where has it gone? Uh, down here look. so yeah here is our bank transfer from one account to the other if we ever want to edit edit these recurring entries we just double click we can edit any of the details we can also highlight and click edit and then when we want to delete something on here delete a recurring payment just click delete click yes and it will go so delete like so So once again, to make these postings, click process, put the date in you want, and you'll post all recurring payments or receipts to that period. So if we put in the 3rd of October 2011, it'll post all of these. We'd click post, click yes, and it does it all for us.